actually I do have one more tip to make it even creamier and <laughs> Hi guys, it's Gaz and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is season eight and I'm making the most incredible, quick, simple, tasty curry. So before I get into the curry, I just want to say a big thank you for your support and subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell because that's how you find out about my new videos. And uh, I need to give my videos a big push now. When I hit 1 million subscribers, I'm going to announce where I'm going to have my first ever restaurant. And that's literally a dream of mine. So please support me. And if you don't know already, I have two cookbooks out. Vegan Christmas, my new cookbook came out recently and it's full of amazing Thanksgiving and uh, Christmas recipes and Vegan 100 came out in January and that's my first book. That's the spiel done, I'm gonna get straight into this amazing curry. And the thing with me, you can make a good curry in five minutes really, especially if you're using something like chickpeas, but it has no flavor. You're not gonna let uh, the spices infuse themselves into the curry quick enough. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to make a quick curry that is also extremely flavoursome and that's the most important thing for me. So let me show you how to do it right now. First up, let's fry off some onions. Preheat a large saucepan over a medium heat. Add a decent amount of vegetable oil. This is my first key step in making a good curry. When the pan is hot, add some sliced onion, minced garlic, minced ginger and some chilli. I'm adding two mild ones, but if you like it spicier, add more. So this is the most important part of making a curry. I'm literally inspired by Indian food and I've watched programs on it literally as I was a kid growing up. And you always see them cooking their onions for a long time. You have to wait until they caramelize and nice and golden. And that can take 10 minutes, literally 10 minutes and that will just set a nice standard for your curry and add a nice base to it. So you know that it's gonna be really flavoursome. The onions release all their sweetness and they get caramelised and that's what makes a really good curry. Cook the onions, garlic, ginger and chilli for around 10 minutes or until nice and golden. Stir them often so they don't burn. So the next important part of my curry and every curry is the spice mix. Now I've got a nice mixture of spices going into mine. Um, really important to have a good amount of herbs and dried herbs and spices in your cupboard at home and that's how you bring a lot of flavor into vegan dishes especially. I've just toasted off some fenugreek and some mustard seeds and I'm going to grind them up in my pestle and water. You can find ground fenugreek and mustard seeds at supermarkets so you wouldn't actually have to grind it yourself. Every now and then check on your onions and give them a nice stir. So my onions are lovely and golden now really nicely caramelized i'm now going to add some spices add some ground turmeric ground cumin and some ground coriander next add some dried curry leaves and some of the ground fenugreek and mustard seeds so this is one of my favorite smells and sights this stage of making my curries is amazing so the liquid has come out of the onions and it's mixed with the oil and it's starting to thicken up nicely and that is actually going to flavour the curry right through. So I'm going to leave this for a little bit and just let the spices cook in the oil and just sort of mingle with the onions, the ginger, the garlic and the chilli. So this is the most important part of a curry. You can't literally just throw onions and spices together, add the sauce and whatever else into your curry and have, expect to make a tasty curry in five minutes. You can't do it. This is how you get proper authentic flavour to your curries. Although I may go to India one day and be told I'm doing it totally wrong. I really, really want to travel to India. Next, I'm going to add some really nice cooked chickpeas. So obviously it wouldn't be chickpea curry without the chickpeas. I've added some really nice chickpeas from a jar. You can soak and cook your own uh, chickpeas. That would make this even nicer. But if you're in a rush, a jar of chickpeas I recommend. 
And you can add whatever you like now. You could add peppers, you could add butternut, cooked butternut squash, sweet potato, uh, cauliflower, loads of things like that. But I'm just going to make this simple today. I've also got some rice cooking as well, so this is going to taste amazing. I'm going to let this cook for around two to three minutes, let all the flavourings coat the chickpeas, and then we'll add some liquids. So my third and probably final tip to make the best curry ever is to add a generous amount of salt. Sea salt that is, not table salt, it's really important. Make sure you use sea salt. This is gonna season the, the curry and also bring out all the flavors. Next to the curry, add one tin of full fat coconut milk. Next for its rich flavor, add some tomato puree. Look at the creaminess. So curry is simmering away now. I'm gonna leave it simmer for about 10 minutes. I don't want to simmer for too long because the chickpeas will just go to mush. They're already cooked, remember? However, because I cooked the onions and all the spices for a long time, that flavor would have already been developed and just make the curry taste beautiful. So we don't actually have to cook it for that long at this stage. If you're gonna be cooking hard vegetables rather than chickpeas, obviously you, can, you would have to leave it longer uh, to let them cook properly. But uh, for chickpeas, you can literally cook it for about 10 minutes now. So what I'm also gonna be doing in my new videos in season eight is shouting out some of you lovely subscribers who have been obviously subscribing to me for a long time and some of you new, new ones of course. I really appreciate all the support and obviously as I said at the start of the video when I hit 1 million subscribers I will announce where and open my first restaurant which is a dream so this is my way of giving you a little shout out so this video is de dedicated to Lucy Mosscrop. Thank you so much for your support. Um, stay tuned for the rest of season 8 videos because I'm going to be shouting out more of you. So I'm gonna have a quick tidy up now, then add my final ingredient to the curry, which is gonna make it incredible. Then I'm gonna plate up. So my last big tip to make an amazing curry is add in some coconut flour. This is gonna help thicken it up and make it even more creamy. A little goes a long way, so don't add too much, otherwise you'd be stuck with a really thick curry. But you can always let it down with some vegetable stock or just water. Wow, this curry is smelling and looking absolutely incredible. And I don't think there's any better way for me in making chickpeas the star ingredient. So I, I like jazzing chickpeas up obviously and I think doing a nice curry like this is an amazing way of jazzing them up. So I'm gonna serve this up now with my rice and uh, taste it. I can't wait. This is literally so, so good. Ellie just said she's been to India and she's had a curry and this is, what do you say, better or just as good? Mm, I'm gonna say better. Better, that's, I'm pretty happy with that. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for next week's video. Please hit that notification bell because if you don't click that, you won't be not notified about my videos. And I've noticed that people aren't being told about my videos. Uh, I put so much effort into them. I just really want you guys to see them and I just want them to help people. So please watch them, share them and subscribe, of course. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next week.